So structured water, you've probably heard of it, and you might even be drinking it, but that's not the best way to increase it inside your cells. And why is that important? Because it may be one of the most important ways that you can prevent cancer from occurring. I wrote a series of three books. The first one on the heart, second one on vaccines and autoimmunity, and then this one on cancer. And as I got into it, I just realized it was all about water. Where in the cell the problem of cancer lies, which is in the cytoplasm. Now, a cell is, has two parts. Basically, it's a lipid-bound membrane that has a nucleus and it has a cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm is basically structured water or a gel. When you look at what the function of the mitochondria is, which is essentially to produce ATP, mm -hmm. then, and you see what the role of ATP is and how integral ATP is to the structuring of the water and the cytoplasm, then you begin to see the connections between mitochondrial dysfunction, but what I think is that the mitochondrial dysfunction leads to deterioration of the cytoplasmic water, and that mm -hmm. leads to cancer. If you want to have properly structured water, which then creates healthy cell division and healthy spatial orientation of the cells, you need sunlight, earth, human touch, like the biofields of other biological entities, especially those who wish you well, all those contribute to, to the quality of the gels that you're going to produce. And that's what good health is.